Okay, so to recap, I have this data of uh, a 2013 Prius accelerating from a stop. Uh, so I've got speed data from the speedometer on the car, and I've got time data from the, um, uh, from the video. I produced a graph of velocity or speed in miles per hour versus time. I've got another graph of speed in meters per second versus time. I've got slopes extracted. I've got low speed and high speed accelerations. So uh, one of the lab questions is, how far did this car go? And what does a graph of that look like? So I'm going to use a tool called Microsoft Excel to uh, do that calculation. So first, uh, I want to point out that this data on the right, so time, velocity, speed, it looks like spreadsheet data. So if I open up Excel, uh, you'll see it pops open. So here's what Excel looks like once it boots up. You can just start with a blank spreadsheet. So that's what I'm going to use. <clears throat> so uh, you just grab the data in Logger Pro, and you don't need as many data points as I have. Uh, you grab the data, and then, let's see, if you push Shift and Arrow, that moves back and forth. So that's not what you do. Instead, if you click and drag on the data, you can select it all. And, you know, Logger Pro is kind of fun because you see a visual uh, selection. You know, so you see visually what's going on. So what I'm going to do is um, once you've got all the data highlighted, you can edit, copy. And then if you switch into Excel, you can just go down a few cells and Control V will paste it. Or else under Home, you can use the Paste key, which is right here. Uh, now, in Excel, uh, columns of numbers are dangerous, so I really need to label this. So this column is time, and it's in units of seconds. The second column is V. It's in units of miles per hour. And this third column is also V, but it is in units of meters per second. So I've got my data labeled. Now, um, here's the physics. The amount of time that elapses between two frames of the video, I'm going to call dt, because it's a little bit of a time change. It also has units of seconds. Now, there's no time that elapses before this 2, 3, 7, 4. So I wouldn't put anything there. But in this cell, I'm going to type equals. And then I'm going to take this time, 2, 6, 0, 7, and I'm going to subtract away 2, 3, 7, 4. Oh, I don't need parentheses. Hit return. So if you click here, you see the formula you entered. So this is like a little mathematical recipe. And it's the difference between the blue cell and the red cell. That's how much time elapsed between these two measurements. Um, how far did I go? So let's find the average V between these two measurements. So this is going to be in meters per second. So the average V between these two measurements, these two times, would be this 2 miles an hour plus this 2 miles an hour divided by 2. That would be the average velocity between these two places, right? The start and the end of this time interval. Now, how far did I go? Well, that's going to be dx. How far did I go? That's going to be measured in meters because this much time, 0.2 seconds, times this speed, 0.89 meters per second, is a little distance. So I've got a little bit of time, an average speed during that time interval. That's how far I went. So uh, then I just need a location. So this will be like a position. That will also be measured in meters. I'll start at zero meters. And then the new position I have will be my old position plus the little change in position I have. So this is like the old x plus v delta t. So um, here's the magic. 
once you enter the formula in Excel, you can scroll down and you can paste all the way down through your data. Let's see, have I gotten to the bottom yet? Almost. And you can do Control V and you can paste this recipe. And so then what you see over and over and over, so here's this time difference that comes from these two time steps. Here's this average velocity. It comes from these two velocities. Here's this dx. It comes from v delta t. Here's this position. It comes from the old position and the dx. So uh, where am I? This will be super fun. You'll love it. Uh, I'm going to grab this, and this is going to be my position graph. So I'm going to insert a graph. And I'm going to click on the graph, select the data, edit, insert a time axis. Now I've got a time axis. So this is my Prius. Let me just clean this graph up and then I'll be done. So in the chart menu, there's a quick layout button. I like this option. I don't believe in this trend line because the data is obviously curvy. This axis is X and it's in meters. This axis is T and it's in seconds. And this is the position time graph for my accelerating Prius. Isn't that cool? All right, the end.